Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this very nice 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. This one is a very nicely loaded 2.0T model. As you can see outside, this one's finished off in a very pretty white exterior. It just has a beautiful metallic to it. As you can see, I think these have honestly aged very well. Outside, you do have very lightly tinted windows up front and then your privacy glass in the rear. Body colored mirrors with your LED turn signal indicators. This one also is equipped with blind spot monitoring. Your body colored door handles, intelligent entry built in. And up top, this one does have the panoramic roof. You can see your radio antenna right there. Fuel cap is on the driver's side. You also do get some chrome accenting around your belt line. Around the rear, rear parking sensors, rear backup camera, as well as your Santa Fe Sport 2.0T badges. To this side, this one is riding on a brand new, and I mean brand new that we did put on, set of Uniroyal tires. They are 235, 55, R19s, so 19-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And everything follows through on this side. As well as up front, you do have projector headlights, fog lights down below. And then you can see your chrome grille on this one as well. Go ahead, get in. As I mentioned, does have intelligent entry. Otherwise on the key, lock, unlock, press and hold, and it will unlock the trunk. As well as press and hold for panic. Coming up to the door, just press. It unlocks. Press again. And it will lock. Go ahead, get inside. As you can see, this one does have the beige leather interior. Full power driver's seat and everything is in great shape. Go ahead and start it, foot on the brake, and press right here. Go ahead, close the door, and just have the key fob inside and you're all good to go. Inside of the Santa Fe, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and light power steering. And on the wheel itself, you do have your audio system controls, cruise controls, as well as right here, you can change your steering mode between comfort, sport, and normal. Bluetooth phone controls, as well as voice commands, and then more controls for the center display right there. And like I said, very nice and light power steering. Up top on the door, it's a padded rubberized material. Um, more of that follows through around here. And then padded stitched leather on your armrest. Some painted trim, as well as all of your power windows. Power locks, power mirrors, all of that right there in your rear window lockout. Storage down below. And then over here, you do have your gauge shimmer, hill descent control, as well as your traction control on and off. Blind spot monitoring on and off there, your heated steering wheel, and then active eco mode. Some wood grain accenting throughout, and then the same kind of two-tone colors through on the dash, which is actually, around here, a padded material. In the middle, you can see your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and then the center display. It will show your distance to empty, as well as you can bring up your nav, audio system, things like that on it. Temperature on that side, fuel gauge on that side. You can see this one is just over 122,000 miles. Up top, the center channel for the Infinity audio system. This one is equipped with your CD player right there, as well as clock controls. Then on the display itself, you can see it is on the audio system at the moment. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, um, Bluetooth audio streaming, everything you'd expect, satellite radio, and it sounds great. Um, all of your different controls around here, phone, info, you can bring up your navigation as well. See, very simple to use, and I like the fact too that it's not all touchscreen based. You do still have some physical controls. Your front and rear defrost, and then below there, all of your climate controls, passenger airbag indicator, as well as your hazards. You can also bring up the climate on the display if you'd like. But your zone for the driver, zone for the passenger, fan speed, as well as more controls there. Storage down below with your auxiliary in and USB, as well as two power outlets. Right here is the shifter for your six speed auto. Drive, manual mode, and then reverse. This one does have a rear backup camera. On the sides, you can see your heated as well as ventilated seat controls for the driver and passenger. Very nice and simple to use. Parking sensors on and off, as well as two cup holders. Padded armrest back here with storage inside, as well as more storage back there. Seats in this one are very comfortable. High quality leather. I mean, they have held up great as well. You can see 122,000 miles. But you do have the perforations in the middle for your cooled seats. And I also will say, it's nice that, unlike some Hyundais, this has cooled seats for both front passengers. I've been in quite a few of these where it only had it for the driver. But great shape, like I said. Up top, you can see the panoramic roof in this one. 
just press and it will send the shade back. We'll just open the sunroof. You do have a wind deflector up front as well. And then the shade itself actually does have an independent control right there. You have different lighting controls around there, as well as your sunglasses container, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror with your blue link, full garage home link built in. Visor, which actually is being used at the moment, but you do have a vanity mirror, as well as your light up top for it. And your Bluetooth microphone, as well as handles. We'll go ahead, step out of this one, unlock everything, pop the hood, so let's put the driver's side automatic window down. Also did forget to show, but parking brake right there, we'll push on, push off. Then you have your fuse panel. Also two down below, typical Hyundai fuel cap release built in on the door. Fuel cap right there. And inside of the rear seat on this one, just as clean as up front. You can also see stitch leather, all of your material qualities follow through. Very nice to have always liked in these. They do include the sun shades in the rear. You can see down below, if you release that, it will fold the seat. You can also use it to adjust the recline. You have to take the headrest out to get it to completely fold. Very nice and simple. Go ahead and step in. And as you can see, I'm six foot two. I can comfortably sit behind myself back here, no problem at all. Do have your back seat pockets on each side. As well as the seats back here, same very nice leather is up front. With your armrest in the middle, cup holders built into the front of that. And on the door too, very nice. This one does have heated rear seats. They are two stage. And then like I showed the rear sun shades, which are actually really coming in handy right now. Lighting up top. And of course, you your vents built into the pillars right there. Inside of the trunk, everything follows through. You can see this one's decked out with accessories. Do have the original cargo net, your Santa Fe trunk liner. And this one actually does include a cargo cover as well. So very, very nice. And everything back here is just as clean as up front. Of power outlets, things like that on the sides, was the subwoofer for your audio system. And below all of that is your spare tire and everything else underneath of that cover. You can see for what it is, great amount of space. Back seat, everything follows through over here. Same with the rear sunshades, as well as your heated seats. Also did forget to mention, but your child locks are built in on the back door. Up front, power passenger seat in this one. As well as inside the glove box. This one does include what looks to be all of the original owner's literature. Would not be surprised if the original window sticker was somewhere in there. State inspection certificate, everything else like that. And up front, we'll go ahead, cut the headlights on. Headlights, as well as the fog lights. And up front, you can see your projector headlights, fog lights down below, and then under the hood on this one is equipped with Hyundai's two liter turbo four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. And this engine too is more than enough power for what this thing is. Definitely a nice upgrade too over the standard 2.4 liter in these. Not sure what kind of bulbs this has because the headlights are on. I don't know why it Looks like they aren't through the camera. Go ahead, bring the driver's side automatic window back up. Cut it off right here. See the seat will move back. So as you'll get your little goodbye chime. Move the key. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.